Hello, and welcome to D-Res Ministry, where the Father serves us with the same ministry that served Jesus in his death and resurrection. Today, I am going to give my opinions on the movie Inside Out 2. What does God's Word have to say about this? What does this have to say about our desires for God? And I like the first one. I really like the first one. The second one, I liked even more. The psychology was more complex. It was even more relatable. If you don't know the Inside Out series, basically there's this girl named Riley and the main characters of the movies are the emotions in her head, like sadness, joy, fear, anger. And it follows what these emotions do through whatever the plot of the movie is whatever events going on in Riley's life so in the first one it was her move in the second one it's a hockey camp where she finds out her friends will be going to a different high school anyway so the first one was about showing that emotions and events can be happy and sad at the same time the second one has to deal with the sense of self and I don't want to go into too many spoilers if you have kids, uh, the movie theater had a lot of parents with kids, mostly girls. But, you know, hey, it's Pixar, come on. You know, who, who doesn't love a good Pixar movie? And honest, like I said, I love the complex psychology behind it. Right, and this has to deal with a sense of self because the girl, Riley, has a good sense of self, but her own weakness starts to interfere with that. And so how do we develop a sense of self while looking at our weakness. Really, Jesus was someone like us who had weakness and he had a good sense of self. He was a son of God and his weakness was really just a um, sign of the mortality in his body. And that's what we see. We see our desire to do good. And it's not, well, we can't do good on our own. We can do great things that really reflect who the Father is, right? And that's the purpose behind everything we do. And we are protected, we're taken care of, so we don't have to preserve our lives. And if we ever make mistakes or show any signs of weakness, well, that's just the sign of the mortality in our bodies. And that's really, really how we uh, develop a sense of self in this when we see our weaknesses and so if you have kids like I said I highly recommend you see them if you want a movie to talk about what God's Word has to say I highly recommend this movie and um, it's very funny too uh, so I'm James Michael Tuttle and if you've seen The Empty Tomb you've seen The Father